Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and welcome to episode one of Mystery Game, a new series where I highlight a fun Linux game shrouded in mystery and let you guys decide if you want to try it. First up is Flint Hook. It's a procedurally generated Metroidvania-style roguelike developed and published by Tribute. It was released for Linux April 18th, 2017. I bought this game with the help of my incredible patrons, so thanks guys, you make this possible. If you want to help this channel grow, you can pledge a monthly contribution over on Patreon. You can also hit that subscribe button, or if you're already subscribed, ring that bell. Flint Hook has a pirate theme that's completely charming. The game's art style has that retro feel, and the high quality animation I've come to expect from tribute games. Their titles are always impressive and handle great, and Flint Hook is no exception here. The controls are tight and they have a unique feel to them. You control your character's movement and aiming with the left analog stick. Movement is a big deal here too. You have a hook which you can shoot out and attach to rings across the level. You also have a time bending mechanic at your disposal, giving you a ton of precision, especially in clutch moments. You also have means of temporarily and permanently buffing your stats. You collect gold through each run that you can spend during the run in shops to give you minor buffs and change some gameplay elements. You also collect green gems that can be spent before the start of your next run. These upgrades are permanent and can give you more health, more equipment slots, and other fun things. At its heart, Flint Hook is an action platformer. The title plays a bit like Metroid or Castlevania in that these maps are segmented into a classic catacomb style. Where Flint Hook diverges, though, is through procedurally generated level layouts, making for unique runs every time you play the game. My only complaint with Flint Hook's performance is that, much like other tribute titles, this game doesn't seem to want to work with my Steam controller. Playing this game with a DualShock 4 or an Xbox 360 is the only option I've found satisfying, as the GameCube controller lacks sufficient buttons to actually play this game. I would recommend Flint Hook to people who've played and enjoyed other tribute titles, or for anyone looking for a fast-paced, interesting take on Metroidvania-style gameplay. Alternatively, if you've been craving a 2D side-scroller with some of the most fluid movement and precise input response, Flint Hook might just be your jam. It's available for Linux through the Humble Store, GOG, and Steam. Links are in the description. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mystery Game. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think, or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You might consider supporting videos like this over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell down there for more from me, the Linux Gamer. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.